Hey everyone, welcome to our monthly update where we like to go over all of our closed trades for the month. May is over, May is in the books. So let's jump in and take a look. Just a quick recap. I uh, had a total profit of $901 in May. Average profit per trade, $56.31, which is down quite a bit from our normal average just because of a couple losers that we did take this month. Uh, but we had 13 winners, three losers, 16 total trades for a winning percentage over 81%. Had a lot of different trading strategies, and we continue to really pound this into the head of our members that you want to diversify not only the symbols you trade, but the strategies you trade, the amount of time in the trade. So this is just one example of how we're able to continue this consistency. Short strangles, iron condors, calendar spreads, short call verticals, short put verticals, long put verticals, long puts, pre-earnings long call, and post-earnings short put verticals. So a lot of different strategies traded. Let's go over to the platform and take a look. Here's our performance page. You can always access this, navigationtrading.com slash performance. Uh, by the way, our pro membership has reopened. So if you're interested, just to go to anywhere on our site, at Navigation Trading, click on the orange button that says pro membership, and you can check us out there. Uh, but this is our performance page. So we've been posting here going all the way back to June of 2017. You can click on this to kind of enlarge it a little bit. Uh, but this just shows, you know, going back to June of 2017, all of our closed trade profits. And this is updated below. So in 2019, we've closed 57 trades, average profit per trade right at $99 with a winning percentage of 80.7%. And then if you scroll down below, you get a breakdown of each month showing the symbols we traded, the number of contracts, the strategy, and the overall profit. As you can see, we had three losers this month, two of them pretty sizable. And this was due to, these were long positions, meaning we, we were bullish. We wanted the market to go up to benefit those. However, the overall market this month was more to the downside. Now, the good thing is we keep short delta in our portfolio. So our overall profits actually grew this month significantly, even though we had to take losses on these long positions. So anytime you're trading with positions in both directions, obviously you're going to have some losers and some winners. In this case, we went ahead and just cut these loose and took the loss, but still profitable nonetheless. Uh, and this is May. You can scroll down and look at our past months as well. And uh, let's go into our members area and recap a little bit more detail about these trades. So if you're a pro member, this is what your membership area looks like. You've got the navigation alerts with the current alerts, current portfolio, our closed trades. We do a weekly video update on all the trades at the end of each week. And then you have access to all the strategy training from iron condors to short strangles, butterfly spreads, calendar spreads, and every strategy that we teach here. But let's go back to the closed trades and just give you an idea of what we did this month. In Boeing, we did a long put vertical. So we were bearish on Boeing, booked a nice profit of $442 there. Oil was a great trade from a perspective of turning a losing trade into a winner. And I recorded a separate video all about this trade because it's so important to understand how to adjust, how to manage, how to stay mechanical. This is a position that we put on in, starting with in October of last year and immediately went significantly against us. In fact, oil dropped 40% from the time that we got in to hit the bottom. And then right after that, basically did a V bottom and rallied 57% with very little pullback. So check out that video. I go in more detail there, but the bottom line is we managed from a significant loser. I think we were down over $10,000 at one point on this trade and just managed our way back, stayed mechanical, ended up booking a nice profit of 460 on that one. Next trade, EEM, we did an iron condor and booked a profit of 230 in XRT, we just bought a long put. Sometimes simple is good. Uh, booked a profit of 284, just looking for some downside on XRT, and we got it. Uh, EWZ, we did a short strangle, booked a profit of 136. XBI, we did an iron condor, booked 140. NVIDIA, we did an iron condor, had to make a couple adjustments, but ended up booking a nice profit of 148. In Walmart, we did a pre-earnings long call, just never got the upside momentum going into earnings that we wanted. Took a loss on that one of 430. 
Uh, and then Facebook and Apple, the two bigger losers that I mentioned, we just had short put verticals, which are bullish positions. We we're looking for prices to go high, and then the market just kind of collapsed uh, momentarily. And so we ended up just taking a loss on these. Booked a loss on Facebook of 1310 and Apple 1404. XRT, we did a short strangle. You can see we had to manage adjust roll several times there, but stay in mechanical, booked a profit of 340. In VXX, which is the volatility index, we did a short call vertical, booked a nice profit of 225. XLV, we had an iron condor. That's the healthcare ETF, booked a profit of 224. In SPX, when implied volatility was nice and low, we entered a calendar spread and booked a nice profit of 540. And XBI, we did a long put vertical, so we were bearish on XBI, booked a nice profit of 610. And on Apple, we did a post earning short put vertical, booked a profit of 266. So those are all the closed trades in May. Again, great diversification as far as symbols, strategies, time in the trade, all those different things that really matter when you are trying to become consistent as a trader. So hope that was helpful. Don't forget to always check out the trade hacker community. Just go to community.navigationtrading.com. We've got hundreds of members in there answering questions, asking great questions. You can interact with and meet like-minded traders just like yourself. So check it out. That is free, no cost to join the community and uh, hope to see you on the inside. Have a great one. Great. Another month of trading. We'll see you next time.